Hi everyone, so as you guys know, my favorite kind of video to do is glow ups. I will do a glow up at any opportunity that I can get. They just make me feel so good. I find glow ups my excuse to like take care of myself and I just have so much fun doing them and I just feel so good at the end of them. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm glowing up for free. Usually when I do my glow ups, I end up spending quite a bit of money because I get things done. I go and get my nails done. I go and get my eyebrows done, like all these little things. But today I'm going to have a glow up from home, which is a bit different. So yeah, first step. I've really tried to think of things that will better me as a person inside and out that are easy to do from home. So obviously I'm going to be basic to start off with. I have not one, but two glasses of water. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I hate water, which is like so weird to say. Like I just don't drink water. Like when I was younger, I would refuse to drink water. I would only drink cordial, which is like water with like flavor. <laughs> And then I love milk. <laughs> you know, water's free. This is water out the tap. And water has a lot of benefits. It's good for clearing skin. So I'm just gonna hug away. Oh no. What did I smell? <laughs> To be honest, I hate needing to pee. Like, oh my God, I would not drink anything at school all day because like, I just hate needing to pee. I feel like being busting is like one of the worst feelings to ever exist. Okay, this one's very full. Why am I making such a big deal out of drinking water? I just hate it. It's not that bad. I also hate cold water. Oh my God, it like, ugh. Yuck. Okay. I love Sprite. Oh my God. My tummy's really full and I'm gonna feel really sick in a minute. I'm gonna try and chug this really fast. Oh my god, I feel so sick. If I was to like move around right now, you'd probably like hear my tummy like with all the water. Oh my god. Whew. Step one of glow up complete. Okay, let's move on to the next step. So basically, next I'm going to try threading my face. I've never done this, but um <laughs> when I was in LA, it was just a lot to go get eyebrow threading. So I wanted to kind of learn how to thread my face at home. I'm lazy. So instead, I'm not going to use this because I did buy it. It did cost me money, but it gave me thread. So I'm going to use the thread. And I feel like everyone has thread in their house. I don't know. I feel like that's just a standard thing that people have. But um, basically, <laughs> it's this contraption. I just wanted to show this because it's absolutely hilarious. You put the threads in like this and then you turn it on and it like threads your face for you. And it's actually so good. <laughs> And I tried to thread my eyebrows <laughs> and I was so confident I was doing this and I slit and I literally, oh, it's kind of gone now. <laughs> I created a slit in my eyebrow and I also threaded off the front half of this eyebrow and I was like, oh my God. And it actually took like quite a while to grow back. Like it literally just only looks kind of full now. That was stupid of me. That was really dumb. Yeah, if you get one of these, do not go anywhere near your eyebrows and make the same mistake as me. <laughs> and cut off half your eyebrow because that was <laughs> so bad. Anyways, I came with thread, like cotton, and I'm gonna try and thread my face with my hands. Whoa, 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 hold on. She takes a long piece like this, and then she puts it together, so it's like that. Okay, so I have my square, and she puts her hands like in here, and then she like twists it. Okay, let's do it. I can't do it! <laughs> This is not working, I'm not gonna lie. Can I try and do it on you? No, just to see if it works. Let me do your arm hair or something. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that works. Yeah, it works. Okay. But I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. Feel anything? <laughs> wait, wait, come here. Let me do it on the eyebrow. No, no, no. No, no relax. No. Can you feel it? Yeah, but you like put out my head hair. <laughs> so, there's hair in it. Nothing's happening. So threading didn't really work, but that's okay. It did work a little bit, not as much as I would have liked it to, but I feel like with practice, I'll be able to thread my face. Okay, so the next step that I'm going to do is I am going to work out. I do not work out ever. I am so lazy. I hate sweating, but it's something you got to do. Working out obviously gets you toned. It gets you fit. I don't know about one workout session because I'm not going to lie. This is the only workout session that I'm going to be doing, but you know, working out makes people feel better and a glow up really comes from within. I'm going to do an at home workout. There's literally so many available online. So I'm just going to do one. Um, we'll see. 
how that goes. So I'm doing the loose belly fat in seven days because it literally has 53 million views and it also only goes for five minutes. So that's like kind of my vibe. It says that in seven days, if you do this every day, it'll work. So let's try it out. Okay, so I put on a little sports top. So I'm in my working out vibe. All right, so she starts like this. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing it wrong? She's doing that and then that. <sighs> oh, this actually really hurts, like really bad. <laughs> You're not doing it right at all. It, it hurts, so it must be working. That's the feet. Has she moved on? Okay, she's moving on. <laughs> she's doing it with her dog in her arms. <laughs> Is she okay? Oh, I think I'll be good at this one. Okay, maybe I lied. These shoes are so heavy. <laughs> Why is this hurting my thighs? Your legs are meant to be straight. They are meant to be straight. Yeah, they weren't straight. <laughs> right, let's try again. Are they straight? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I give up, I'm sorry, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, I did give up, but if you wanna try working out at home, you do that, uh, not for me. But my abs do feel sore. Maybe this is a sign that I really need to work out because I'm very unfit. Anyways, next step of my glow up. As I've been saying this whole video, it's really not just an external thing. Glowing up also comes from within. And I've been speaking about, oh my God, I'm literally out of breath. And I've been speaking about how I suffer from a lot of anxiety. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of meditation, wellness. And let's get into that. I'm going to light some candles, get relaxed, and just sit and breathe to get my mind off of absolutely everything. So first, I'm going to set the mood. Oh. Oh my god. It's going to burn me. Kendall. Kendall Jenner. My name is Kendall. I'm gonna get cozy again. I also came prepared with some crystals for some manifestation, mental wellness. I have these ones. I have lots of stones. I'm just gonna sprinkle them around me. Let's listen to some meditation. Say hello to Domino's Hot <laughs> app. Hi, I'm Minis Benitez, and we'll be doing a guided meditation to reduce anxiety. So find yourself a comfortable seated position and we'll get started. Seated, I kind of wanna lie down. Bringing your hands to your kneecaps or your lap and taking the first deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth closing our eyes taking a deep inhale through our nose inhaling one two three four holding our breath one two three four and exhaling one two three Okay, so now that I've finished my meditation, I feel a bit more calm and I feel more relaxed. So now let's get into the glowing up. I'm going to be having a shower and cutting my hair. I literally just cut my hair a couple days ago, but I'm down. I'm ready to cut it again. Let's go do that. Okay, hey you guys. So I'm getting in the shower. I'm going to wet my hair so Adrian can cut it get a free haircut. <laughs> I don't really mean to be rude, but you look like garbage rat. You look like you crawled out a sewer and the infestation, and you look like garbage. Don't do much, please. Hello? Yeah, what about Yolo. Do we even cut anything? Yeah, we cut chunks off. It doesn't look shorter. Look how much hair that is. That's so straight. Wow, looks lush. I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna dry my hair. I'll see how short it is. I don't think there's much of a difference, I'm not gonna lie. We shall see and I will see you when my hair is dry. Okay, so I just finished drying and straightening my hair. I don't think it looks that much different. Uh, I tried to cut my front pieces a little bit shorter, but that is like the length of it. But yeah, I think Adrian did a good job. But anyways, I have a couple more hacks to do and then get into the makeup. So first I want to try filling my lashes with a spoon. A spoon is an everyday household item. So basically I'm going to be heating the spoon with a hairdryer and trying to curl my lashes. Uh, I don't know how this is going to go. Imagine if I 
burn my lashes off. Let's not even consider that. So I have my trusty, dusty, handy hair dryer. Let's heat up the spoon. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's hot. Oh, I'm kind of scared. Oh, it's very hot. Oh. Wait, it's kind of working a little bit. It's holding the heat, so uh, be careful if you try to do this. Um, I will not take responsibility if any of your eyelashes <laughs> fall out. Ooh, I don't know what side of the spoon is better. Like if I should use the rounded side and push up again. I feel like that's the way. I feel like I'm straightening my lashes, but it's kind of working. Okay, so I've been holding the spoon for a couple minutes on each eye and it did work, but it is quite annoying to <laughs> hold a spoon on your freaking eyeball for quite a while, but I did the job. But anyways, the last hack before we move into makeup, I'm gonna put some toothpaste on my pimples. I don't know if this works. I've never tried it, but I know a couple people in high school used to do this and they told me it worked. So I think you're supposed to leave it overnight. Wait, let me go get a pin. Okay, so I'm gonna put some toothpaste on my pimples. Yeah, I doubt that this will do anything. When I was a child, I used to, <laughs> I had the um, Disney princess toothpaste and I liked it so much I would hide behind the couch and eat it out the tube. And I got in trouble multiple times for doing that. And it would taste so good, but it would always make me feel really sick. And it was like a really weird feeling. Anyways, let's get into my makeup. So basically I'm going to use the makeup that I already have. However, I recently did a clean out of all of my like old makeup that I don't use anymore. So unfortunately I kept a lot of the more expensive brands. So I went through and tried to find like my cheapest kind Kind of makeup so it's more affordable because like obviously we're gonna do makeup today and obviously that's a part of a glow up so let's start with eyebrows i have this ardell medium brown eyebrow pencil let's start with that it's not bad i don't really need to do much but the tip of the pencil is quite thick so it's not very like precise i actually want to take this maven beauty oh i haven't used it eyeliner pencil that's brown come on lady why is this not doing anything Literally, stop, stop, stop. I was like, why, why are they not coming out? Thank you. That works. Does it work? It's a long ass eyebrow. <laughs> So I just extended my eyebrows so much, I don't know what I was thinking. That's the Maven Beauty eyeliner. And I happened to chuck out all of my cheaper brow setters. So I think the cheapest one is this Benefit one. This one's really good. Oh, I was like, something on my face is really cool. And it's this dot right here. Okay, so my cheapest concealer are these mini hourglass ones because they are mini. So I'm going to use them to cop out my brows. I'm using the shade Vanish. This one's a bit yellow tone. I wouldn't really use this for under my brows usually. I usually do like more of a white tone. Oh, I can't rest my hand here because it's freaking toothpaste. I'm going to use this for above my brow. This toothpaste is like, I'm not going to lie, kind of tingling my skin. All right, because my toothpaste is still marinating, I'm going to do my eyes first. I found this palette, which I assume is one of the cheaper ones. I also found this palette by Sleek Makeup. This one has like a really pretty pink, so I think I'm going to use that. Look at the brushes with this. And then I have these Maven Beauty Mini palettes. I think I'm going to use like a combination of all of them. So I'm going to start off with that pink because that's just like gorgeous. Look at that fallout. Oh my goodness. I'm just pressing that all over. Okay, now that I have pink eye, you going to try the Maven Beauty. Try this one. I'm going to press that like in and out. Really like just blending that out. I'm going to use this dark brown. That's the way I'm holding that. I'm just darkening up the outer corners. And like with the leftovers, putting that on the inner corners. All right, I'm going to take some black and start blending with that. I'm going to take this and pack that like in the center of my lid. And then I'm going to add like a mix of these two shimmers on top. Now, I'm going to use this Maven Beauty eyeliner. I'm going to attempt to do a long wing. It gets dry very easily. Like I keep on having to twist it out. Now with the black from this Maven Beauty palette, I'm going to blend out that wing give it like a smoky <laughs> effect all right so now i'm going to clean up the wing okay so quickly before i do my mascara this is the only waterline pencil i have i got rid of all the other ones but this is the kvd vegan beauty big pencil and i'm just oh tight lining my eyes 
I just saw the future. Okay, so I just tight lined my waterline. And then this is the mascara that I will be using. Volume Million Lashes Mascara. This is insanely amazing. It makes your lashes so long. And it's the cheapest one that I have. Like, are you kidding me? With, without. Okay, I'm loving that. I think that looks so good. My lashes look amazing. So let's clean this toothpaste off my face and move on to the face. Not do anything. Oh, this is so itchy. Wait, that one's kind of gone. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they calmed down a little bit. They didn't disappear. But anyways, <laughs> let's move on to face. Okay, so this is the cheapest primer that I have. This is the Poor Professional by Benefit. Ooh. It looks very like mattifying. I don't really like mattifying primers i prefer dewy ones not bad it doesn't feel drying which is good and this is the cheapest foundation that i have i'm sorry i got rid of like everything i also think this is like years old but from my memory it was a good foundation i'm just gonna blend that in hmm not bad it's covering that blood blister <laughs> blends out very fast very easily i feel like i look a little bit orange no i look more yellow tone not orange but not to fear concealer is here so i will be using the same concealers that i was using for carving out my brows because they are the cheapest okay i put way too much on i'm looking a bit silly okay a little bit goes a very very long way this concealer i've noticed also dries very fast so i'm like blending the house down Okay, now I look really pale. I was looking yellow. Let's add some color to me. Now I think this is my cheapest dark concealer. I only have two. I have this one, Charlotte Tilbury and Too Faced. And I assume this one is cheaper. I also got this when I was literally 15. So, 15. this is six years old. <laughs> right, I'm gonna blend this out and hopefully add some color back onto my face. Okay, now maybe I put too much of this on. Oh, I can't win, <laughs> I can't win. I will win. Bro, that looks like I did it. All right, so that was definitely a mission and I'm still looking a bit crazy, but it's okay, don't worry. We're not done yet. We're gonna set my face. So this is the cheapest powder that I have because it is the smallest. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I don't think I need any more brightening, to be honest. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm just putting that kind of all over my face, but mainly under my eyes just to set that. So for bronzer, I don't think I need much, but I think this is the cheapest one that I have. This is the Beach Please by Micellin. I thought this was Benefit. Okay, so I'm gonna put a bit of this on my cheeks, kind of just to set the powder because I'm already looking quite bronzed. All right, I'm going to contour my nasal cavity with the same bronzer. Hey, it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna pat that in a little bit just to try and blend it. Now, I thought instead of using a blush, I will reuse this pink color here as my blush. It might be, yeah, that's very light. At least it'll like kind of tie into my eye look. I love applying a lot. All right, I'm just taking the leftovers from what was on this nose contouring brush and putting that under my eyes. And then I'm gonna be taking this tiny brush and this brown. Oh, that one in my eye. I'm doing my lower lash line, really darkening it up. Oh my God, didn't know I wanted to be emo today. All right, and I literally need to reverse contour because ever since I started reverse contouring, my life has changed. So this is like the only reverse contour that I have and it's the mini one. I do have the bigger palette, but this is the cheaper one. So I'm going to take what's left and brighten up my face. All right, now I'm going to set my face. This is the Glow Fix Illuminating Setting Spray by Revolution. Should I do more? Or would that be overkill? Okay, that's enough. Okay, so now this is the cheapest highlighter that I have and it's from Mecca Cosmetica and it is actually really good. I'm gonna be taking this on my eyebrow and just adding a little bit of glow. I don't wanna be too glowy. I feel like it gives you that like wet look. I'm taking it on this brush and doing my inner eye corners. I'm gonna put a bit of that on my lid in the center, on my brow bone, and then also on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna quickly add an inner eye cat wing. 
Okay, and I'm sorry, I literally, I had like so, so, so many like drugstore lip liners, but I'm not even lying. I threw out all of them because I just never used them. I only like stick to my few at a time and I just wanted to clean up my space. I literally did this like two weeks ago when I was rearranging my room. But yeah, I'm just gonna be using my everyday lip products. I'm sorry, but these are to die for. If you wanna go spend your money on them, spend your money on them because they are just the perfect color combination. So I start off with my... <laughs> MAC lip liner in the shade Strip Down. So good. Then I take my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in the shade Iconic Nude. And I blend out the darker color because this one's a little bit lighter. And then I go in with this Charlotte Tilbury pencil in the shade Pillow Talk. This is more of a like pinky one. And I blend like the whole lip. And then I take this Huda Beauty cream lipstick in the shade Empress. And I pop that in here. I just kind of blend that. All right. And now I'm taking the NYX NYX. This is everything lip gloss. I've never used this. Oh, this is everything. Okay, guys, and I think this is the finished look. I did something a bit different. A little bit different. I'm slowly getting there, slowly trying out new little looks. I got this little light, and I think this... I actually found today really fun. It did take me absolutely all day to do these little things, but I, I feel good. And that's the main focus of a glow up, to feel good in the end. And I feel good because I look good and I also feel good because of the little activities that I did earlier. But yeah, you guys, this is the finished look. <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this glow up experience but yeah make sure to like subscribe and i will see you very very soon